Now, let's take a look at the 2018 Michigan football schedule. We are eight games in, four to go. Why well, don't just give everybody a recap? I, I get people all the time, uh, you know, DM me what time the game is, who they play, everything. The schedule is not easy, to, not tough to find for you, but if you're depending on us for your schedule, we have got you covered. Let's just do a quick recap of what has happened today. Michigan started off the year as a top 15 team, went to number 12, Notre Dame, lost that game 24 to 17, and as such, a lot of people were on Jim Harbaugh for, uh, you know, being a failure at Michigan and not getting the job done, but the Wolverines certainly have rebounded since then. Lost against a, then a top 12 Notre Dame team, now a top three, top four-ish Notre Dame team. A seven point loss on the road. Before we go on to the second game in the regular season, if you're just tuning in here on Facebook Live, you're watching this segment on YouTube, Reveal Suits is providing the baddest ass Michigan football coat of all time. Maze liner, black and blue, both sides, and the sleeves, you put your coat in there in the airport, you get 20 people walking up to you asking you how to buy the coat like they've done for me. We're the only place you can get the $100 Pre-sale value, or your pre-sale deal, info at revealsuit.com is how you get hooked up. Email them now, there's only a few days left to get the pre-sale $100 off promo. All right, second game from Michigan, they took on Western Michigan, absolutely blew out the Broncos 49 to three. The next week, the third Saturday of the college football season for the Wolverines, Beat SMU 45 to 20, but that was a game that was very close where Michigan was up 14 to seven. With about a minute left in the half, SMU started driving down, 15 seconds left. Josh Metellus, a pick six to end the half, a walk-off pick six to put the Wolverines 21 to seven against SMU. A game that a lot of people, after that third week, a lot of people were just super mad about Michigan football. One loss and a lackluster performance against SMU. But since then, the Wolverines have really turned it on. The next week, Nebraska came to the big house. Scott Frost and his Cornhuskers got absolutely blown out by Michigan 56 to 10 one of the more complete games that the Wolverines have played this season 56 10 victory for the Wolverines that day in a day that a lot of people thought that was Shea Patterson's best game of course today as the Michigan football quarterback all right Want to tell you about BetDSI one more time. Chatsports.com slash bet is the way to go. Promo code GoBlue, 120% deposit bonus. Bonus. You put 50, you get a free 60. You put 100, you get a free 120. Math isn't that tough. It is a great deal no matter what way you spin it. You put in 500, you get 600 free to use in the sportsbook and the casino. Let's go to game five. A game that is probably other than Notre Dame game would have been Michigan's most likely opportunity for a loss. They were down 17-0 on the road versus Northwestern at halftime and came back and won that game 20 to seven. As we show you some of the, of the photos of the day from that game, it was a game where Shea Patterson really, you know, holding the command of this team was uh, was was absolutely uh, clutch. He is the clutch gene down the stretch and led the Wolverines back from a three score deficit. Karan Higdon, one of the stars of the day for the Wolverines on that day as well. Now, as a pessimist, you have to say, wow, Harbaugh just cannot get it done on the road against teams that are any good. Now, if Northwestern wins this Saturday, they're hosting Notre Dame. This Northwestern, win, you know, close win for Michigan, is going to look a heck of a lot stronger than it did at the time when Northwestern had a loss to Akron under their uh, under their belt. The week after, took on Maryland, the Terps 42-21 at home, a game where Maryland scored a very late touchdown. Michigan basically did whatever they wanted that day at home. That was October 6th. A lot of recruits in for that game. Of course, Dax Hill committed shortly after he visited for the Maryland game and a game where Michigan absolutely blew out the Terps. The next game, they took on number 15 Wisconsin, their second game of the year against a ranked opponent. Surprisingly, Michigan was ranked by, or was favored by about 10 points at game time and they completely dominated the Wisconsin Badgers 38 to 13. Now, that game was under the lights. This Saturday versus Penn State will not you know, until maybe the fourth quarter, but Michigan was in command in the entire second half, got the run game going, Shea Patterson was very accurate, and the Michigan defense absolutely suffocated everything that Alex Hornerbrook and the Wisconsin offense tried to do. Michigan gets the victory 38 to 13. Hornerbrook only had 25 yards passing until he got like 70 on their final drive 
to get the score up from, uh, I think it was the time, 38-6 or 38-3, to whatever it was. They got a score on their last drive, a touchdown score. Actually cost me some money because I had the under in that game. It got over the 48, 49 point over under. If, like me, you gamble on sports, you think you're smarter than the sports books, you can do that. You get 120% deposit bonus and you can get a free shirt from Chat Sports and Bet DSI, a Jordan Brand Michigan game day dry fit. Deposit with them, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code GOBLUE gets you 120% deposit bonus. You place your first bet, make it on Michigan versus Penn State. Bet the over, bet the under, bet one of the teams, and then you DM me on Twitter at James T. Yoder. I will tell you what information I need so we can send one of these dry fit shirts out to you within a matter of days. After the Wisconsin game, the Wolverines went on the road to East Lansing beat Michigan State 21-7 in a game that erased 12 years of bad memory, 17 straight losses Michigan had taken versus uh, ranked teams on the road. The Spartans at that time were ranked number 24 and Michigan beat up on them 21-7. Shea Patterson with a really nice pass to Nico Collins to get the scoring starter for the Wolverines. And then the, the pass that broke it open in the second half, in the third quarter, towards the end of the third quarter, Patterson, a 79 yard straight down the sideline over the shoulder pass to Donovan Peoples-Jones who you know, kicked up his ankles, didn't get ankle tackled there on the 40 yard line and took it to the house to put Michigan up for good for the day. So that is the record so far, seven and one on the year. Let's take a look what Michigan has down the stretch. This Saturday, as we've mentioned a number of times, number 14, Penn State comes to the big house, 3.45 p.m. Eastern that game. If it's one of those slow college football games that takes four hours, we should expect the second half, maybe the fourth quarter only, to be under the lights. Had this been a week later, they probably the entire second half would be. Reminder, set your clocks back. It's fall back on Saturday night. But prior to that, Michigan will take on number 14, Penn State, a team that just absolutely crushed them last year in Happy Valley. Do you think you know what the score of this game is going to be? Do you think you know what the score of Michigan Penn State will be? If you do, you can win 25 bucks. DM me on Twitter and comment below on Chat Sports Facebook Live and the Chat Sports YouTube channel. Comment below, hit me in the DMs. All you gotta do is tell me the score, who's gonna win. If you were the first one to predict the exact score, so do it now, don't wait. You'll win $25 from my pocket, this Michigan laced reveal suit, right to yours, 25 bucks to the winner. Do it now, do not wait. After Penn State, the Wolverines win this game, they will cement themselves in the top four until the Ohio State game, barring some sort of you know miraculous, uh, crazy upset to Rutgers or the rest, you know, one of the other teams in the schedule. So after Penn State, they head out to the scene of the 78-0 blowout victory from two years ago. They take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, maybe the worst team in all of Power Five. This is the team that lost to Kansas. They are just an absolute embarrassment this year, Rutgers is. That is November 10th. I hope to pray to the Lord they don't make that a night game on the Big Ten Network, because I don't think I want to waste my Saturday night watching Michigan beat Rutgers, you know, 67 to nothing again. But that game should be an today actually on Monday so by the time you watch this the, the time for that game should be out Michigan November 10th heading to New Jersey in a game that will likely be about 75% Michigan fans outside of New York City. One more time before we show you the last two games in the schedule I want to show you this reveal suits. If you missed it before don't want to make you rewind or watch later info at reveal suits a hundred dollar discount if they go on sale to the public and you haven't emailed them yet you got to pay full price they're letting us hook you up and we're the only ones, don't be the guy who walks into a wedding this fall when Michigan's going to the college football playoff that doesn't have a reveal suits and, and all your buddies do. So info at reveal suits, ask him for the $100 Michigan football sports jacket today. After Rutgers, back home to Ann Arbor for the final game senior day versus Indiana, a team that's given some people some fits here and there. That game is on November 17th. That'll be the last game at the big house for Chase Winovich, for some other Michigan players, and likely for guys like Rashawn Gary, if he's playing, for Devin Bush, and some other Wolverines that will potentially go pro after this year. So that may be their last game in the Big House, November 17th, two weeks from Saturday. And the final game of the year, ladies and gentlemen, November 24th at current number eight, Ohio State should both teams win out from here on out. Both have three more games before the big one. The game, November 24th, noon Eastern. The time has already been announced. That will be a game to win the Big Ten East, 
beat the beat the, the winner of the West, who no one knows who it's going to be yet, and likely the winner of this game, as long as they hold hold service in the Big Ten Championship game, will go to the college football playoff. Will be Ohio State's third time in the last five years. Will be Michigan's first time in the college football playoff should they get that victory versus Ohio State, obviously, and winning the rest of the games on their schedule. One more time, we'll whip it through for you. Michigan, eight games in. Notre Dame was a loss, then seven straight victories. Western Michigan, SMU, Nebraska, got into Big Ten, uh, deeper into Big Ten schedule, went on the road to Northwestern, had to overcome a 17-point victory to beat the Northwestern Wildcats. Came home for two straight games. Maryland blew them out 42-21. Wisconsin absolutely dominated the number 15 Badgers. 38 to 13, and then headed on the road last Saturday against, or two Saturdays ago, against Michigan State. Obviously, Michigan had the bye week on October 27th and beat the Badgers 24 to set or 21 to 7 in East Lansing. This Saturday night, Penn State, number 14 Penn State, coming into the big house November 3rd, this Saturday, 345 Eastern. Do you know the score of the game? DM me, I want to remind you one more time. DM me on Twitter at James T. Yoder. Right, you know, hit me up, James. Here's the score. That's all you gotta do. You are entered. If you correctly pick the score, the first one to DM me, 25 bucks from my pocket to yours. And if you think you're a good better and you want to make some money this college football season on any game you pick, not just Michigan games, go to BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. If you do it and use promo code GOBLUE, you get that 120% bonus. You place your first bet. You DM me on Twitter with the, uh, you say, hey, James, sign up for BetDSI. We will send you one of these Michigan football Jordan game day dry fit shirts that are absolutely comfortable. Will keep you warm under the, uh, under the cold no uh, November weather in Ann Arbor. So go ahead and do that. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code GOBLUE. My name is James Yoder, the face of Michigan football media. Tuesday night, if you're watching this before the show, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, we have the college football playoff rankings live here on Chat Sports Facebook Live, Chat Sports YouTube Live, and the Chat Sports Twitter account. So go ahead and join us then, 7 o'clock Eastern on Tuesday. Michigan Saturday will take on Penn State. I'll be in Ann Arbor. So if you're going, hit me up and we will see you then. Go Blue.